far away. A young karate nerd explores the roots of karate, challenging his mind and body, and sharing his epic discoveries. Jesse Incap is the Karate Nerd in Okinawa. Good morning. Today I'm off to Tokashiki Island, a beautiful small island just one hour from Naha. Let's go. Alright, so now we are on Tokashiki Island. We just stepped off the ferry, which is right there, and now we're sitting on the bus waiting to go to either Aharen Beach or Tokashiku Beach. There are only two beaches on this island and the rest is just jungle and that's it. And there's supposed to be a hotel also here somewhere but I've never seen it. So basically what you do here is you spend the day like scuba diving or snorkeling and just relaxing. And since it's a national holiday, all the dojos here in Japan and Okinawa are closed anyway so you can't really do any good training so might as well enjoy the beach. One of my favorite things to do on the beach is to work on mobility because a lot of people in karate are stiff, especially when it comes to the hips. So, for example, the squat position, this, if you can't sit like this, you probably don't have full range of motion in your ankles or hips. And the squat, although most people today associate it with strength training or exercise, it is actually the basic resting position for a human being. Like if you go to anywhere in Asia, you'll notice that they sit in a squat when they talk on the phone, when they eat, when they go to the bathroom, always. So if you can't sit in a squat, you really should work on that. And there are some exercises that I could teach you. For example, start by sitting in a squat, go as low as you can, and try to have your heels on the ground. If you can't, just elevate them with something under your heel. Anyway, from this position then, start with this exercise. Put your elbow next to your heel, your shoulder next to your knee, and then start just by pushing out your other knee like this. Push, 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 and then switch, other side. In and out, push, and try to gradually increase your range of motion and open up those hips like that. Next exercise, you go in again, but now use your free hand here behind your head and then your, sh your elbow should touch the ground like this. Up and down. Up, look up as well. And down. And try to rotate your thoracic spine up here. Up, open up, and down, and then switch, other side, inside, outside, up, and down, and down, and try not to collapse with your knees as you do this exercise. Another good exercise, of course you can do that previous one by stretching all the way up as well with your arm, like that. Another cool exercise and this is very good for your spine, is this. Try to touch your forehead to the ground without falling over. Now, I can't even do that, but here's a trick. Put your fist here, and now try to touch your fist to the ground. Ah, yes, I did it. If you can't do it, put two fists on your forehead and try. And then 10 repetitions of that is amazing. And then let me end with a final exercise. I got tons of these because I do a lot of mobility training myself. Just bounce. Just bounce like this. That's it. A lot of us are afraid to bounce because we, we think our joints will, will hurt or, or we'll get pain from that. But that's wrong. Your joints love some impact. Not too much, 
gradually, step by step, you can increase. Just bounce in this end range here, gradually. And then you can go more, more, up, up, higher, higher, higher. And eventually you can go all the way up like an air squat. And that's super good. And you can also do that as you walk around like this. Bounce and walk. But make sure that your heels are on the ground at all times. Do not go on your toes because that defeats the whole purpose, right? It's a mobility exercise. And try if you can to do this daily because if you don't use it, you lose it. That's it. If you're blind, like if you can't see, then Okinawa is a pretty cool place. Look down. These lines and these dots are on the streets everywhere here in Okinawa. And basically lines means that you can walk and dots means that you should stop or turn. Like here when there's a crossing. Personally, I think it's great for foot massage. Because I wear barefoot shoes. By the way, do I look fresh today or what? Hawaii shirt. In 1927, something remarkable happened in Okinawa. The founder of Judo, Mr. Jigoro Kano, came here to Okinawa to witness a demonstration of Okinawan karate so that he could see if karate could become a new national sport in Japan. And Mr. Kano was a big deal back in the day because not only was he the founder of Judo, but also a member of the Japanese Martial Arts Federation as well as the Olympic Committee. So, in 1926, one year before Mr. Kano came here, an organizing committee was formed. And their job was to make sure that this demonstration was the shit. However, there was one problem. Karate, the name, did not exist yet. Instead, Karate was called Todi, which means Chinese hand. And anything associated with China back in that time was not good because Japan was very, and I mean super nationalistic and anti-Chinese basically. So the organizing committee of this demonstration had a problem. How would they uh, best promote this demonstration? Well, look, here's a map of Okinawa. So here's what they did. The different masters of the demonstration came from different areas. For example, we have uh, Mabuni Kenwa who came from Shuri area. We have Kian Chotoku who came from the Tomari area. And Chojun Miyagi who came from the Naha area. So instead of writing Todi or Chinese hand, they decided to write Shuri Te. The, the hand from Shuri or Tomari Te. The hand, the fighting arts from Tomari, and Naha Te, the fighting arts from Naha, which was a clever way to uh, overcome that hurdle of having to promote the Chinese roots of karate. But again, this is before it was even called karate. Later on, the name was changed to Karate, empty hand, from the Chinese hand, Todi name. And of course, Later on, many, many more styles were uh, created as well, separating karate even further. Just having some pre-workout coffee before heading off to the dojo. And it got me thinking, there are some stuff here in Japan that are so crazy and opposite compared to the way we're used to in the West. And that's why a lot of foreigners get a culture shock when they come here. For example, the way you count on your fingers in the west we count like this one two three four five right but in japan they count the opposite way like this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so if you want to order four slices of carrot cake then you're only gonna get one because this is one in japanese but to us it's four right kind of funny another thing that's also the opposite is how you, if you want to wave somebody to come over like this for us this means go away but in Japan this means come here if you do this that's rude you only do this to kids dogs and foreigners I'm standing right outside the dojo of master Hokama Tetsuhiro 
a world famous master of the Goju Ryu style. He's a 10th degree black belt and he also does Kobudo, the art of using the ancient weapons. You know, the first time I came to Okinawa, when I was like eight years old with my parents and my younger brother, we went to Hokama Sensei's dojo. That was the first master I ever practiced with in Okinawa. And of course, it made a huge impression on me at that time. So I'm really looking forward to practicing with him again. But first, I gotta crush my pre-workout hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this sign right here at the entrance says the birthplace of karate. And this here says Bujutsu, which means uh, practical martial arts. So I'm gonna, gi I'm gonna give a gift to Hokama Sensei because I know he loves his station gi. Right here you can see all of the incredible uh, old school strength training equipment that Hokama Sensei uses in his dojo. These are modern versions of the nigirigame, the jar filled with sand. And of course you got the, the dumbbells, also kettlebells and the protection. Ponfa, the weapons, you got it all man. That's why he's so badass. Hey. Who is he? Yes, long time ago. Who? Who? <laughs> oh. A newspaper. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very happy. Nin. Hi, hi. Thank you. Same technique. Okay. Uh -huh. Wow, guys, Hokama Sensei's museum is incredible. And it's actually the first ever Karate Kobuto museum in the world. And he's so proud of that, you can really tell. Hey, check this photo out. Right here. Wait, what gi brand is that? Oh my god. Appa, okay. In, out, appa, yes. 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 It's a story. One guy defends, one guy offends. Okay, let's go slowly. How you use the important? This one? No problem. Yes, please. Yes, easy. Yeah. This is a true, true is a eye attack. Uh, but dangerous. Then I just push. This is an eye, but dangerous. Who <laughs> 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 